But I think that we should all be very careful. It's early yet. What is, however, clear is that there were threats, death threats, some made openly, some also made on tape against us, which we tended to police during the number 12 football investigation. We have to be careful. Murder is about beyond, proving beyond reasonable doubt. So I guess these are the leads that um, the law enforcement agencies will look at. And if there is any merit in it, I think they, they will be the best to make a judgment. So how often do you get threats? I think it's, it's a daily routine. I mean, once a big story breaks, it comes with its own issues. Will this particular incident affect your work as an investigative journalist? Well, last night, um, it was a very low day, very low day last night. It was clear that team members were so unhappy. And, but interestingly, this morning, people are energized, they are back to their desk. See, those who come after our lives, the best thing to do to them is to tell them we are strong. And you see, this is not about the tiger eye person. The life of an investigative journalist has come to an end. It could happen to any other journalist in this country. And that's why I kept on saying that this whole fight is against journalism and not personalities or organizations. What do you think this says about the media climate in Ghana at the moment? I think that not just Ghana, everywhere. Sometimes when you have a right and you feel you have arrived and you don't do anything to protect that right, they take it back from you. And as journalists, we should keep pushing the frontiers of free press.